This Profus Anchor tutorial will explain the features of the Base Material tab. The Base Material tab permits you to input parameters corresponding to the concrete base material that you'll be using in your anchoring application. Users can select cracked or uncracked concrete conditions corresponding to the conditions that exist for their application. Select cracked concrete if the concrete can be expected to crack under normal service loads. Likewise select uncracked concrete if the concrete can be expected to remain uncracked under normal service loads. Concrete compressive strength can be input via a drop-down. The drop-down permits users to select predetermined compressive strength values or a custom compressive strength. To input a predetermined compressive strength value, highlight the value, then click on it. To input a custom compressive strength value, click on the drop down, then click on custom. In the box titled compressive strength, input the concrete compressive strength corresponding to your application, then click enter. The value will be saved. Base material geometry can be input via the main screen or via the icon titled Input Geometry. To input geometry via the main screen, highlight the parameter of interest, then input the value corresponding to your application. Click Enter to save the value. Each time a new Profess Anchor project is opened, the edges are shown as infinite. To change an infinite edge to a fixed edge via the main screen, highlight the parameter of interest. Then click on the box as shown. Input the value corresponding to the edge distance for your application. Click Enter and now the infinite edge will be shown as a fixed edge. You can easily change an edge from being infinite to fixed by the box titled Edges. I've oriented my view so that the x-axis is shown horizontal. Likewise the y-axis is shown vertical. This corresponds to the arrows in the box titled Edges. The right horizontal arrow corresponds to the x-positive direction. The left horizontal arrow corresponds to the x-negative direction. The top vertical arrow corresponds to the y-positive direction and the bottom vertical arrow corresponds to the y-negative direction. Let's say that I'd like to fix the edge in the y-positive direction. Using the box titled Edges, I can click on the arrow corresponding to the y-positive direction. This is the upper vertical arrow. Notice now that the edge distance corresponding to this parameter is shown as fixed. I can then highlight this parameter and input the edge distance corresponding to my application. Click Enter and now the fixed edge will be saved. Arrows corresponding to fixed edges will be highlighted in orange. Note for our application that the arrow in the plus y direction and the arrow in the negative y direction are highlighted in orange. These correspond to fixed edges in the plus y direction of 10 inches and the negative y direction of 10 inches. Arrows which are not highlighted indicate that the edge is infinite. Notice that the arrow corresponding to the plus x direction and the minus x direction are not highlighted and likewise the edges in the plus x direction in the minus x direction are infinite. You can set all of the edges as fixed by clicking on the box in the center. Note that all of the arrows are highlighted in orange and likewise all of the edges are shown as fixed. You can likewise set all of the edges as infinite by clicking on the box in the center. 
Note now that none of the arrows are highlighted in orange and all of the edges are shown as infinite. You can also use the input geometry icon to input geometry values via a table. Click on the box titled input geometry. The following table appears. You can highlight a parameter of interest and input the value corresponding to your application. Click OK or enter to set the new value. The box titled Temperature contains parameters that are used when designing adhesive anchor systems. The parameter for base material temperature is only utilized when the allowable stress design provisions are used with adhesive anchor systems. Therefore, when designing per strength design, this box is grayed out. Short-term temperature and long-term temperature are important parameters when designing using the strength design provisions of ACI 318 and the IBC building codes. The table being shown is taken from ESR 3013 for HIT HY150 Max SD adhesive. Temperature ranges correspond to a maximum short-term concrete temperature and a maximum long-term concrete temperature. Selecting a particular temperature range results in a corresponding characteristic bond strength that will be used for the design of the adhesive anchor system. Each time you open a new Profus Anchor file, the program will default to a short-term and long-term concrete temperature. When using Fahrenheit values, the short-term and long-term default values are 32 degrees. If the default values for short-term and long-term concrete temperature are used, the characteristic bond strength that is used for the adhesive anchor design will correspond to the temperature range A characteristic bond strength. When concrete temperatures other than those corresponding to temperature range A are to be used, input the values corresponding to short-term temperature and long-term temperature as I'm showing here. The temperature values that I've input correspond to temperature range B for HY150 Max SD adhesive. This means that the bond strength calculations will utilize the characteristic bond strength which corresponds to temperature range B. Installation conditions are relevant when using adhesive anchor systems. Selecting a particular installation condition will dictate the characteristic bond strength that is used in the calculations. The box supplementary reinforcement permits selection of a fee factor corresponding to condition A or condition B for either tension or shear per the provisions of ACI 31808 part D.4.4.C. The supplementary reinforcement option also permits selection of shear reinforcement corresponding to the provisions of ACI 31808 part D.6.2.7. Selection of the anchor reinforcement option is only available in Profus Anchor when designing with cast-in-place anchors. Selection of this option results in no concrete breakout calculations being performed in conjunction with the provisions of ACI 31808 Part D.5.2.9 for tension and Part D.6.2.9 for shear. When anchor reinforcement has been selected as a design option for cast-in-place anchors, the Profus Anchor Design Report will indicate this in Part 1 of the Design Report. Likewise, no concrete breakout strength calculations will be performed when anchor reinforcement has been selected as a design option. Profus Anchor does not perform any calculations 
related to the design of anchor reinforcement. 